the axis of time, where all times cross. Apocalypse seems bent on mastering time itself and has persuaded some of the most powerful mutants on Earth to help him. Time is motion, and motion and thought are unity. Two aspects of a single power that is beyond comprehension to all but myself. That is why certain psychics can see into the future. The mind can transcend time. You still haven't answered my question, Apocalypse. What happens next? Throughout the centuries, an elemental balance of power of good and evil has always denied me final victory. Until now! But I have discovered a way to break that balance by simultaneously destroying the most powerful psychic beings in the universe! Like atoms being smashed, their destruction shall release a force of psychic energy powerful enough to stop the Axis! To stop time itself. And so it shall come to pass that all existence will end except that which is here within the axis, outside time. Then shall I begin anew, recreating the universe in my own image, a perfect universe where I shall rule unchallenged. When you sought my help, you said nothing about this madness. You spoke of creating an alternate future in which mutants would rule, as I have always dreamed. And you were fool enough to believe me. Strike him down, my horseman! Fart! I never believed you, Apocalypse. A fool. Do you not realize I am immortal? Apocalypse, time, and thought are one. That's why, now that we are free, our power here is greater than yours. You will exit the Axis with us. Outside the protection of the Axis, with your Lazarus chamber gone, you will simply cease to exist. The end of time for you. No!